lesson so today hopefully these are simple things that you could do at home and there are two different options so two different investigations one is a, an experiment where I'd like you to try and record data and give it a go I know there's just something that's a little bit fun using this um, like sciencey process so I think it's quite nice so what will you need well you'll need a jug now I've got two jugs because one of my jugs I've put water in it so you need a jug and some water, glasses, two glasses as well. So this will depend on what experiment you do, but if you're doing my fun one, then you're gonna need two glasses. You're also going to need some pegs. So pegs are really, really important. I've just got loads of pegs. So getting loads and loads and loads of pegs. Scissors, you're gonna need kitchen roll. Doesn't matter what kitchen roll it is, I don't know whether it might work with toilet roll. It's possible. So worth the try, but I've only tried it with kitchen roll. Um, and you'll also need some felt tip pens. Again, different brands are fine, whatever you've got. Please don't use permanent marker because it probably won't work. But felt tip pens in a range of colours and a pencil. So, shall we start with option one then? So with our investigations today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating colours. So we can separate different substances using different techniques. So for example, if I was going to separate something like, I don't know, pasta from water, then I'd be filtering it using filtration. If I was going to separate other things though, I might need to use different processes. So some substances disappear in water, they dissolve. Other substances don't dissolve in water. So what I'd like you to do now is to think, and I know some of you have done this, can anyone remember a word that means dissolves in water? Pause it here and have a think. Dissolves in water then. Substances that dissolve in water are soluble. So today, solubility is quite important for our technique. So some things are soluble in water. For example, the pigments that are inside my colours. So, another example of something that's soluble would be like salt. If I put salt in water, mixed it all up, it's going to disappear. Well, pigments dissolve in water. What that means is, say if I put some, I don't know, um, on maybe my hand, it would wash off, wouldn't it? It, it would go, go because it's soluble. But we're going to use that property for our investigation today. So today, our first investigation, first thing you're going to need is some kitchen roll. You're going to need your jug of water, you're going to need a jug, you're going to need some scissors, some pegs and some felt tip pens. Now our first one is an investigation. So I would say for this one you're going to need a results table too. Now the results table is a place that we can record our data. So our numbers or maybe it's information. It just depends on your investigation. So with our experiment, you might want to give this a go. Your first task is going to be with your paper, you're going to cut it into strips. Now you've got to be really careful with this, but I'm going to cut it into strips using your scissors. So nice strips. I've already done it. Here we go. So I've got all my strips ready. You can pause it here so you can get your strips cut. Give it a go. Okay, 
Right, okay, so you've got your strips. Now what you can do with these is, you can start your investigation. So, I might decide I would like to test a green pen, a pink pen, a black pen, and a blue pen. You might decide you want to do more. So the colours inside these pens are mixtures and they mix together the mixtures of pigments. And because the pigments are soluble, you can separate them using water. Now, if I was, well, for you being technical, I could call this chromatography. So chromatography is how we separate colours. It's a technique that we use. And normally at school, I would use chromatography paper to do this, but it seems to work with this paper. So... I'm going to lay it out like that so you can see it. So you've got your pen and your strip of paper. And what you'll need to do in pencil, now this is really important because pencil is not soluble. What you'll need to do is write the names of the colours on. So that one's blue, so I wrote blue. This one is black, so I wrote black. This one is pink, so I'm writing pink. And this one is green. Why don't you give it a pause there and give that a go. Right, so you've got your words on now. Next stage is going to be, and I'm doing it on something. The reason is I don't want to get our pen on my table. So blue first. Now, I don't want to do it right at the bottom because if I put it right, right at the bottom, it's going to wash off in the water. That wouldn't be good because the pigment is soluble. What I want it to do is I want the water to travel up my paper and begin to help my pigments to separate out and the pigments will travel up the water and travel up the paper. Right, so I'm going to put my dot on. And you just work through with your other colours. Why don't you give that a go now and pause. Now, now you've got them all labelled up, this is what you're going to need to do. Now, I'm going to use my empty jug. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of water into the bottom. Not very much at all. In fact, I'll have a go at measuring it. Probably about 50 ml, so not very much at all. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my papers in just so they are touching the water very slightly. Now, normally what I'd normally do is just fold it and they'd fold fine, but that doesn't seem to work. So what I found yesterday was I just used pegs and I just pegged it up on the side, like this. Whoop, nearly did that the wrong way around then. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled with this when you're doing it. So I'm just pegging them up. And you could test more pens than this. I've only gone for four, you, you know. I've got loads more pens that I could test those. And this will help me to see what colour pigments are used to mix together and make my colours. And all you do with that then, is leave it and all you need to do is wait and we're waiting to see what happens we're waiting to see the colors that separate because they are a mixture and what you might find is that different colors are made using different colored pigments so you'll find they're a mixture so with that then you can record it in a results table so here's my results table look and see you can record your numbers down in that so with this waiting you might find you need to wait five minutes it might be a little bit longer but again very handily i've already done it so it's not worked for all colors but some of them has so look at that one you can see there two in fact three different colors in this one
in this one, which was the black one actually, in the black one, I have found ooh, three different colors again. And what you need to do in your results table is write that. So for the black pen, I would be writing for mine, it's pink, green, and blue. And they're all mixed together to make a color. Now this one was blue. And in this blue one, I can see it's got a little bit of pink and it's got a blue pigment, so I could write that down into my results table. Why not give that first experiment a go and see what you think? It's a great one. You can you do other things with it as well. You might want to test maybe cake colours, so you could use food colouring. You can even do it with um, M&Ms or um, Smarties. So give it a go and see what you find out. I'm looking forward to seeing your results. Right, is everyone ready for the next experiment? So this one's a bit of a fun one. I'm saying it's an experiment, it's just something where that I think gets really, really nice results. We're using the same technique, but we're just gonna do it in a different way to hopefully get something that's quite impressive. So for this one, I'm going to need my two glasses. Now, you might need to experiment with this. These are the only two glasses I had that were quite, I felt like short ones would work better. So these were the ones that I had they needed quite a wide base, so have a look. You might find you can do it with something different um, as long as you've cut your paper thin enough. So again, you're going to need kitchen roll. So you're going to need kitchen roll, you're going to need two glasses, you're going to need scissors. You might find you need those trusty pegs again and colours. You're also going to need your water. So for this one, what you'll do is with your scissors, I would like you to cut your paper into a rainbow. Pause it here and give it a go. Right, so you've got your rainbow. So with your rainbow, again, we're using the same principle, the fact that the pigments are soluble and because they are soluble in water that means they dissolve in water because they are soluble in water they're going to travel up the paper and some things travel further than others now i've done a bit of a nice shape here i've done a rainbow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to decorate it as a rainbow and see what happens so with my rainbow, I like to use a science rainbow rather than the song. So I would use like Richard of York gave battle in vain. So let's look what colours I've got. I've got red. And when I'm drawing these colours on, noticing I'm not doing it right at the bottom, it'll wash off in the water a little bit up, please. So maybe a couple of centimetres. So I'm doing red. I'm going to do red on that side as well. So I've got red, orange, Richard of... I'm leaving a little bit of space between, but I don't suppose it matters. Richard of York. So yellow, Richard of York. So I've got yellow next. But you could do this with any colour you wanted, really. It makes no difference. But I just thought it'd be pretty as a rainbow. Richard of York. And then gave. So green. Oh, gosh, that pen word was loose. Green. Gave. Make sure these are on. These are my little girls. Richard of York gave battle. Now, I've not got a purple. It's in vain, which would be like indigo violet. So I'm just going to use a blue. Cut that side thinner than the other, haven't I? But it doesn't matter. I might even be able to trim it a little bit. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to place it into the water. So, get my two glasses. Now, it's a bit fiddly, this, so you just need to take your time with it. So, all you'll be doing, I've got no water in there yet. All you'll be doing is you pop in the paper into the glasses into the water. Now, you might find that you're able to pour it when it's already in, which is fine. I'm just going to try it without... 
So I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in the bottom. It's a bit of trial and error. There we go. And I'm placing it in. Again, I'm being careful because the pigment, the pen will wash off if I'm not careful. If it gets under the water, you don't want it to be under the water. And what should start to happen is it should start to travel. And what I found worked well was just pegging it up a little bit. Now, again, you need this to, to wait and you need it to run for a little while. And you just leave it and you wait and you see what happens. Why don't you give it a go? Pause it here again. Right, so after a little while, what you'll find is it looks like this. Now, the tissue paper will be extremely wet. The pigment will come off on your hands a little bit. It'll wash off, but it'll come off on your hands. So with this, all I did was that I dried it up overnight. So I left it on, put it on top of my radiator, actually. But you could just leave it on the side and it would dry. Now, please be careful. I found that what I needed to do when it was wet was place it on something. So place it on something to dry, okay? Because the bit of the felt tip will come out. So just be a little bit careful with that. And then with that, you could make something really nice with it. Maybe make someone a nice card with it, stick it on a picture. But I just think it looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? You can see all the colours, they've travelled and they've made a really nice rainbow. Whether it had travelled further if I left it longer, maybe it just travelled to the top, I don't know. Give it, give it a go, leave it a bit longer than I did. There we go. And that's it. So that was separating colours. It was great to see everyone again today. I'm hoping that people come again next week for my other exciting science experiment. Please remember, if you actually do any of this, why don't you put it on Twitter, share it with somebody, drop me an email. I would love to see it. Um, and there's merits on offer if you want to be dropping me an email or putting it on Twitter. I'd love to see what you do. And hopefully... I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. See you soon.